Hello friends, it's me, Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the Excalibur Las Vegas where I'm going to Tap Sports Bar for the first time. Really happy to have you along, I'll see you inside. Alright everyone, and here I am seated at Tap Sports Bar at the Excalibur Las Vegas. A very lively sports bar, two sections, one more dimly lit and one more well lit with a gaming section, full service bar, plenty of screens for your favorite sports programming, loud and energetic music, a very fun vibe in here. Now regardless of the vibes, you know it's all about the food for me, so let's take a look at what they have to eat on the menu. Alrighty, so here is your menu at Taps. Let's start with the beverages. Feel free to take a pause in the video if you'd like to take a closer look at these drinks. Here are the bottled and canned beers. And your uh, bottles and cans continued here. A nice beer list. And here are your cocktails. Old fashioned, margarita and the like. Some uh, Vegas local born beers, I believe. You got a uh, pineapple sour there, an American pale ale, that looks nice. And uh, Michelob Ultra, Modelo, Golden Road, mango cart here. And some wine as well. Now I've got work in the morning, so no drinking for me today. Let's take a look at what they have to eat next. So here is the food menu at Taps. Let's take a look. Here are your appetizers, your snacks. Looks like uh, nachos, pretzels, chips. All looks really good. Here are your burgers and stuff. Looks like all of the handhelds. Cheeseburgers, Nashville hot chicken. Oh, actually more than just handhelds, so plenty of uh, entrees here as well. Soups and salads. That looks really nice. Uh, your sides here. Your sweets for desserts. And it looks like they also serve pizza. There's your menu here at Taps. Some good looking sports bar food here at Taps and a lot I'm looking forward to trying today because you know how it goes in my videos. Every restaurant is a buffet if you're willing to pay. So I'm gonna get a nice variety and together we'll see what Taps is all about. Appetizers are coming up first. I'll see you a little bit when they arrive. everyone and our appetizers just got here this is looking really good let me give you a view I got an order of their crispy fried cheese as well as their big old pretzel some loaded tater tots spinach and artichoke dip chicken wings as well as their New England clam chowder this is all looking really good let's give it a try first off we'll go in on the mozzarella sticks a staple at a lot of sports bars I love my mozzarella sticks dip it into some of the marinara sauce here let's give these a shot Oh yeah, it's good. I do like this mozzarella stick. I believe this was made in-house. A very crispy exterior, a nice fry to this batter. And it's a well-seasoned batter also. Nice levels of salt and pepper there, it's good. A very melty mozzarella cheese inside. It is actually very nice. Bit of a mild flavor there. Providing some additional salty flavors. That's all good. I do like the marinara sauce here at Taps. A bit of a zesty tomato sauce. Well-seasoned with a little bit of a natural sweetness to it. I like this. A nice start to the meal, these mozzarella sticks. Next up, the loaded tater tots. Now you can get both loaded fries and tater tots. I decided to go with the tater tots here. I've got a nice fork full. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's tasty. I'm certainly enjoying these tater tots. A nice crunchy fry to this with a relatively soft and potato with pillow center. A good tater tot here. I really like the cheese sauce here at Taps. It's incredibly rich, very creamy, and a nice sharp flavor. There's a slightly smoky and tangy sauce here as well, sharing a very similar hue as well as consistency with the cheese, but it's a very distinct flavor. Something like a slightly sweeter chipotle mayo. I like the cooling effect of the sour cream here and a nice salty blast coming from the bacon. Just a little bit of bite from those green onions, bring it all together. A nice little dish here. I like the tater tots, those are tasty. Next up, the spinach and artichoke dip. Another classic sports bar favorite, served with tortilla chips. Really nice looking here at Taps. Let's see how the spinach and artichoke dip is. Yes, that's tasty. We'll start breaking this down with the chips. Now they do make their tortilla chips in-house. It's certainly more flavorful than your standard store-bought tortilla chips and a very nice fresh crunch here. They're not stale by any means. I do like the artichoke tip. 
very rich, very creamy. You certainly get a nice little bitterness from the artichoke here. And a bit of a nutty flavor from the toasted breadcrumbs on top. Very cheesy, very salty, this dip. It does go great on the chips. A nice spinach and artichoke dip here, I like this. Next up, I'll try the chicken wings. Now you have your choice between plain, Korean barbecue, lemon pepper, and buffalo sauce here. I decided to go with the buffalo today. We'll dip it into some ranch dressing. Let's see how the chicken wings are. That's a solid wing right there. A very nice cook to these chicken wings. A nice fry job to this. I'm really liking these chicken wings. Definitely a nice fry job to this. A bit of a crispy exterior and a very juicy chicken in the center. Tender for the bite. This is good. I actually really like the fact that these are also jumbo wings, not any dinky wings here. Really appreciating the size. And given that they've been cooked well, this is a real treat. I do like the buffalo sauce, although it's relatively straightforward. I think it's a bit on the mild side. I would certainly appreciate a little bit more spice here. But there are good levels of vinegar here, providing some nice tang, and a relatively standard ranch dressing here, providing some cooling flavors. Nice little hot wing there. Next up, let's try the big old pretzel. A nice big pretzel here, served with mustard and cheese sauce. I'll give it a little dip in the cheese. The giant pretzel. Yeah, not bad. This is a pretty decent pretzel. A bit of a nutty flavor when it comes to the exterior of the bake. And a relatively soft center. It's a little bit more dense than I would prefer in the middle of a pretzel. I think I would enjoy a little bit more of an airy bread. But that said, this is pretty good. A nice amount of flaking seasoning salt provides some salinity here. But the real flavor is coming from the beer cheese. I really like how pronounced the flavor of beer is in this cheese. A little bit of that bitter mixing with that rich saltiness is actually very good here. I actually like the sauce a lot more than I like the pretzel. I think if the pretzel was a little less dense and a little less heavy, I would enjoy it a lot more. But certainly not bad, it's still totally possible. All right, my friends, now the last bite I'm trying from the appetizer round is gonna be the clam chowder. A very thick looking clam chowder here. I've got a nice spoonful. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that's very good. This is an excellent New England clam chowder. Very rich. You can actually distinguish the flavor of butter in here and a very, very thick chowder. I love the consistency. It's so satisfying. Wonderful flavor from the aromatics. You actually get a little bit of that celery in there. And the potatoes have been cooked well, a nice softness to them. That's all very good. You absolutely get the sweet briny flavors of clam in this chowder, providing a little bit of that ocean briny sweetness. In general, very well seasoned and nicely balanced. This is actually a really good clam chowder. I like this one. All right, everyone. Now that's all of the appetizers I'm frying today. My friend and I are going to continue working on this and box up a lot of it for takeaway. And then we'll go on our first round of entrees. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Welcome back everyone. Our first round of entrees just got here. This is looking really good. Let me give you a view. I got their cheeseburger as well as their impossible burger. Their Nashville hot chicken sandwich with some onion rings as well as their fish and chips. I believe this is all of your handhelds. Let's give them a try. First off, we'll go in on Taps cheeseburger. A big double patty cheeseburger here. Looks really good. Let's give it a shot. Focus on investing right now in you, the American people. And we can chart a new way. Oh, that is very good. I am really enjoying this cheeseburger. First off, let's talk about this bun. Incredibly soft, ultra fluffy, a nice buttery top, a little bit toasty in the center with a slightly sweet flavor. I'm really liking the burger buns here. I went with an American cheese in this burger. It's nice and melty and salty, providing a rich flavor. Really great cheese. Now we have two smash patties here and I absolutely love the beef. Pressed down properly to create a nice mired reaction on those crispy edges. And a very well seasoned burger here also. Fantastic burger. You also have a beautiful nutty sweetness coming from the caramelized onions and a sour tang from a couple pickle chips that they have in the center. This is the same chipotle sauce that we saw earlier on those loaded tots and it's working so well for this burger. A little bit of additional richness and some spice and kick really rounds out the flavor as well. This is a very tasty burger. I like it a lot. Next up, we'll try the french fries. Now all of these handhelds come with french fries. However, you are able to upgrade to tater tots, onion rings, or a side salad for an additional charge. We'll start off with these french fries first. Let's see how they are. 
Yes, that's good. A wonderful crisp to this French fry, a very satisfying crunch. This is enjoyable. A relatively airy potato center as well. I do like that. And these are well seasoned. The flavor of starch is a little bit heavy on these French fries. I am a little curious if they've had all that excess starch washed out before frying. But otherwise, a nice potato flavor here. Overall, a good French fry. That is enjoyable. Next up, we'll go in on the Impossible Burger. I thought going from their standard cheeseburger to Impossible would make for a nice comparison here. And I believe this is topped with a vegan cheese. This burger is also really massive. Here's the Impossible Burger. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now, I've already discussed the bun with you, so I'll just fast forward through that. It's excellent. Most sandwiches, it tastes good on this bread. They've got a really great sandwich bread here at Taps. I think the Impossible Patty is okay. This is probably not the best Impossible Patty I've had. It does have a bit of a meaty quality to it, but it's lacking a certain juiciness that I've experienced in other Impossible Patties, and I do think it's a tad under seasoned. They are using a vegan cheese here, and while it is a little bit less salty, it does provide a little bit of a richness to this burger. That's quite nice. And while it's very faint, there's a very light mayonnaise-like sauce on the bottom, providing a little bit of additional moisture. The elements keeping this burger from being too dry really is coming from the vegetables. Nice fresh produce here, a little bit of bite from that raw onion, as well as a sweetness from the tomato, and a fresh neutral crunch coming from the lettuce. While I've had impossible patties that really blew me away and made me question whether or not I could substitute meat for the rest of my life, I don't think this particular impossible patty is one of those, but it is still pretty passable, a nice flavor here. I think vegans will be pleased. This is a pretty solid burger. Next up is the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. I gotta say the burgers and sandwiches here at Taps are absolutely massive and I've got a really nice aroma coming off of this. The Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Yeah, it's pretty good. Again, we'll fast forward on the bun. It's really good. Really great start when you have a good bun on a sandwich, so I'm happy with that. Now, I'm a little bit torn when it comes to the chicken here. It is executed incredibly well. A fantastic crunch on the outside, a tender and juicy chicken meat in the center. In general, a well-seasoned chicken also. That's all good. I think the Nashville hot oil here is just okay. It's very mild, and there's something like a woodsy sweetness to it. Maybe some excess cinnamon or sugar in the spice mix blend is definitely off ratio a little bit for me. Personally, I prefer a lot more of a savory and spicy hot chili oil here. I do like the coleslaw though. Not too sweet, much more vinegar based, helping to cut through some of that richness. Though for me, it's a tad off balance because there's not as much spice for it to cut through either. A nice tangy and sour pickle here though, the same from the Smash Burger is very nice. In general, I would say this is still pretty good. A slightly more spicy Nashville hot chicken recipe with some more savory elements. I think I'd like this a lot more. Now with the Nashville hot chicken sandwich, I decided to go with onion rings, and it's served along some kind of an orange sauce. We'll give it a little bit of a dip. Let's see how these onion rings are. Yeah, those are actually really good. Very nice onion rings here at Taps. Very obviously hand cut and breaded in house. These are really solid. A wonderful crispy texture on the outside. Such a satisfying crunch biting into these and a well-seasoned batter. Nice flavors here. You certainly get the sweetness of the onion in the middle of the bite, which is crucial for a good onion ring, and I'm happy to report that it's on point here. This is that same chipotle mayonnaise sauce that we saw previously in the Smash Burger, as well as on top of those loaded tater tots from earlier, and it works very well on these onion rings. A Little bit smoky, spicy, and rich. Just a hint of tang on the back end. A very nice sauce for these onion rings. It's very good. A nice tasty side of onion rings there. I like that a lot. All right, my friends. Now the last bite I'm trying from this first round of entrees is gonna be the fish and chips. You get four big pieces of fish here along with some tartar sauce and fries. We'll give it a little bit of a dip. Here's the fish and chips. Oh yes, that's tasty. A nice fried fish here. A nice crispy exterior. I do like all the fried options here at Taps. The timing for the fryer is really on point. A moist, firm, and flaky fish in the center with a nice mild flavor. I do believe this is a cod fish. And it's been well seasoned. It's quite good. In general, I do think it is a bit on the oily side. I'm reaching for a lot of napkins after this one. The tartar sauce is pretty good. Rich and creamy with a little bit of a sweet tang to it. A little bit of accent flavor from the dill. It works very well with the fish. If the fish was slightly less heavy and a little less oily, I think I'd like that a lot more. All right, everyone, now that's our first round of entrees. Just a couple more bites, and my friend and I are gonna box this all up to go, and then we'll do our next round. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back.
and welcome back everyone. My second round of entrees just got here. This is looking really good. Let me give you a view. We got their New York strip steak along with their seared salmon, their Cajun pasta, and a pepperoni pizza. I think this actually rounds out the majority of the menu and I'm excited to try it. Let's go in. First off, we'll go in on the salmon. Now I believe the salmon comes with a different sauce on the daily depending on whatever the chef is creating. And I've got a nice forkful here. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's pretty good. A relatively well-cooked salmon here. I would prefer a little bit of a crispier exterior on that skin, but it's not too bad. A relatively firm and flaky flesh also. Although just a tad on the dry side, I would certainly prefer a little bit more moisture here, but in general, a nicely cooked piece of fish. A decent mild flavor from that salmon also. It's been well seasoned. That is pretty good. Now the sauce on top today is really good. This is something like a peach ginger glaze. Incredibly thick and viscous. It's coating the salmon beautifully. And it has some really nice depth of flavor. You absolutely get that natural sweetness of the peaches. It's not overpowering. And a little bit of bite from the ginger here provides a nice floral note. If that salmon was just a little bit more moist, I think I'd like this dish a lot. Now the roasted vegetable of the day that comes with the salmon is some broccolini as well as fingerling potatoes. We've got a nice bit of it on the fork here. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that's very good. I'm really happy with the side. Just a little bit of snap to that exterior, but a nice soft chewy center to this broccolini. Very enjoyable. The fingerling potatoes here have also been cooked very well. Fork tender, nice starchy flavor and well seasoned. This is a good fingerling potato. Now the potatoes and broccolini have been sauteed in a garlic butter oil and it's actually very fragrant and delicious here. Some nice rich buttery flavors accented with that beautiful garlic is very nice. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. A really good side for the sandwich dish, I like that. Next up, we'll go in on the New York Strip. I asked for this cook somewhere between medium and medium rare. It looks like it's pretty well cooked to temperature. Nice pink center. Here's the New York Strip. Yeah, not bad. A relatively well prepared steak here. I asked for this somewhere between medium and medium rare and they absolutely nailed that cook. My hat's off to the chef, nice timing. Now that said, unfortunately, the quality of the cut of beef here is not the best. And so it is pretty tough, a little bit on the chewy side. I would certainly appreciate a much more tender steak. A decent crust on the outside though. I do commend the actual preparation and cook. It's also been well seasoned. This certainly isn't a bland steak, but ultimately when you have slightly tough and chewy meat, it does leave a bit to be desired. A bit of a shame because the human execution here was quite good. It's really not a bad steak, just a little bit extra tenderness and that could be a lot better. Now the steak comes along with some mashed potatoes. These look pretty good. Let's see how they are. Oh, it's very good. I am loving the texture of these mashed potatoes. Very creamy, silky smooth, with just a little bit of a rustic touch. Small chunks of potato can still be found in the bite. I actually really do like this. A nice buttery richness here with these mashed potatoes. It is well seasoned and well flavored. And a little bit of a peppery kick also. I like the amount of black pepper added to this recipe. Mashed potatoes always goes along with steak wall in my book. And Tap Sports Bar is not changing my opinion tonight. A solid mashed potatoes side there, I like that. Let's start doing some Italian food. Next up is the pasta. This is a shrimp and sausage pasta served in a red, served with a red sauce. It's got a nice amount on the fork here. Here's the pasta taps. Yes, that is good. Oftentimes in a place like this, I'm not expecting much when it comes to the texture of the pasta, but this is relatively firm, very close to al dente. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. The tomato sauce here is actually quite good. A nice salty level to it. A nice thick sauce, not watery at all, with a very nice natural sweetness from the tomatoes, as well as a little bit of a peppery kick. Much more spice than just regular black pepper. Something spicy is definitely putting in some work here. Maybe some additional crushed red pepper, or some cayenne is bringing some extra heat. That's actually quite good. The shrimp in the bite was nice and succulent, although I can't say too much of that briny sweet flavor came through. The flavor of the sauce is quite dominating here. That's not to say you can't taste any other flavors because the sausage absolutely comes through. Slightly spicy, but a nice seasoned Italian sausage there, providing a bit of a meaty quality to the bite. That's very good. A little bit of Parmesan cheese, also providing some pungent saltiness. It's all coming together very well. This is actually a very good pasta dish. I like this a lot. Okie dokie, the last entree I'm trying tonight is going to be the pepperoni pizza. I love it when a sports bar is able to serve up great pizza, so hopefully the pie here at Taps is good. Let's see how it is.
It's pretty good. A super thin crust pizza here. Just slightly thicker than a cracker. Leaves a lot of crispiness to this crust, which is a fun texture. I absolutely love how toasty this crust is. They had a piping hot oven. You can see these toasty underbottoms. It actually does give a little bit of structure to the crust. That's good. A solid, rich, and salty mozzarella cheese here. A nice mild flavor from that, as well as a nice salty hit from those pepperonis. I think my biggest issue with this pizza is the sauce. It tastes just a little bit raw to me. I think I would prefer a little bit more of a cooked down tomato flavor because the natural sweetness of the tomato is really forward facing here, which is unfortunate because all the other elements are actually quite good. But if you are a fan of a much more sweeter pizza sauce, I think you're gonna really like this pie. Everyone, now that's all of the food my friend and I are trying today. I'm super stuffed, so I think just a few more bites. We're gonna box this all up to go and then we'll do some dessert next. Don't go anywhere because sweets are coming up. And welcome back everyone. It's time for some sweets and my dessert just got here. Let me give you a view. This is their homemade chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich. And it's looking really good. I've got a nice amount on the fork here. I'm really full, but there's always some room for some sweets, right? Let's activate the dessert stomach and give this a try. Oh yes, that's good. A very tasty dessert here. Simple and clean and straightforward. I like the execution. A super soft chocolate chip cookie. I love when it's freshly baked like this. A wonderfully sweet chocolate chip cookie here. A really enjoyable deep cocoa flavor from those chocolate chips. And a slight nutty sweetness to the overall cookie. A very sweet vanilla bean ice cream. You can actually see the speckles of vanilla bean here. And that flavor is very forward facing. I love how vanilla interacts with chocolate chip. It's working very well here. That warm soft cookie with that really refreshing cold ice cream makes for a fantastic bite. A very nice way to round out the meal. This is fun. All right, everyone, now that's gonna do it for my dinner here at Tap Sports Bar at the Excalibur Las Vegas. My dinner came out to just under $340 today before tip, and my friend and I had a great time. I really enjoyed that clam chowder from the appetizer round. That was some of the best clam chowder I've had all year. Now from that first round of entrees, I really like the cheeseburger. I think they have an excellent smash burger here at Taps. It's really, really good. Now while I thought the fries were okay, I thought the onion rings were fantastic. I would definitely upgrade to that whenever I came here for a handheld. And from our second round of entrees, I actually really liked that Cajun pasta. And to round things out, that ice cream sandwich was really enjoyable, nothing wrong there. All in all, just a very favorable experience here at Tap Sports Bar. So if you're here at the Excalibur and you're looking for some casual eats or some food while viewing a game, this is what you can expect here at Taps. All right, everyone, now that's gonna do it for this Saturday video where I'm continuing my quest to vlog every restaurant on the Las Vegas Strip, as well as downtown. Coming this Tuesday, I'm gonna be returning from a much more local spot here in the Valley. Make sure you come back for that one. Now, my friends, as F1 construction starts to take over the Strip, it's becoming increasingly annoying to drive here, so I think it's a good time to start my downtown series. So next Saturday, we're gonna be making our way to Fremont Street. Make sure you come back for that one as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great weekend, and I hope you enjoy Vegas with me, Shin. Bye.